remodeling. That's exciting, isn't it? But the thing about remodeling is it never quite goes as planned, just like life, right? So welcome. This is my one for one life based on Proverbs 14, one that a wise woman builds her house, but a foolish one tears it down with her own hands. And this is my journey of kicking out the foolish one from my life. I hope it helps you too. So remodel. Why do we do it? Well, because you like new stuff, right? And you can see that I have a gaping hole in my wall. And today I want to talk about four things that you need to realize, I need to realize about remodeling, okay? The first thing is, is remodeling starts with a decision. You got to decide that you're going to do it. Now, I talked about this with my husband for several months going, gosh, I think I want to do this to my closet because I had one of those doors and then the closet itself went for a few feet on either side and you couldn't get back into the corner, okay? And it was driving me crazy. So, I mean, we talked about it. This is what I wanted. I knew what I wanted. I knew what it wanted it to look like. So he brought in um, a contractor friend and to ask, you know, what's all involved. And they began to talk about my new door and I'm like, eh, time out. We are not on the same page. I don't want a door. And they looked at me like I was nuts. But whose remodel is it anyway? It's mine. It's my room. It's, it's mine. So anyway, they talked about it and said, oh, okay. So my husband cut out everything because this was something he could do. And it's been like this for, I don't know, at least a week. It feels like a month. You know, when you're in the remodel process and demolition has begun, you just so want it done, right? But remodeling begins with a decision. We had, we talked about it. This is what I want. I laid out what I wanted, I, you know, and then the work begins. So after decision comes the demolition. And the demolition is a mess. It is a mess. I don't, you know, it doesn't matter what you're demolishing, what you're knocking out a wall, you're ripping up flooring, whatever you're doing, it's messy. And it interacts and interferes with your whole space because you're like, I don't like this. This is uncomfortable. It's dusty, it's dirty, and things are not where they belong. Right? Have you ever remodeled your kitchen? Oh my goodness, we do a lot of these. People, um, I, I think they go to the cabinet store and go, I want all new cabinets and they fall over from the cost of it. And then they call us and we redo cabinets. But you gotta have everything out of your cabinet to redo your kitchen. And it is such a mess. So we have to make a decision. Then we have to do the demolishing. And again, the demol demolition, you know, and when you are remodeling something, especially in an older house, there's always something that you didn't expect. Always. Several years ago, we had worked down out on our patio and on our garage, and it would have been better if we had just torn down the garage and started brand new. Yeah, there's always more than you run into. And then you get to begin the remodeling work, which I guess is going to start either tonight or tomorrow. They're going to come in and frame that whole big space and then fix the pieces of flooring that are missing. And I'm like so excited. And, but you know, you have this idea in your head, you go, oh, I want to do this. But the Bible tells us um, that we got to count the cost. We got to count the cost. And for most of us, we um, don't realize the cost. It always costs more than what you think it's gonna when you remodel because usually you run into something that you didn't expect or things cost more than you thought they would. And it takes longer than you thought it would. And then the fun part begins when the remodeling is all done. Then you get to like move back into your space and go, oh, how am I going to live in this space? What is it going to look like? 
What, what do I want and how do I want things arranged? It gives you the opportunity to go, this is like a clean slate. Do I really want that back in that cabinet? Do I really want my, my futon there? Where, where do I want? So it's exciting remodeling, but you got to remember remodeling, it starts with a decision. Are you going to let Jesus come in and work on your heart? Because remodeling, true remodeling of our heart is not that he's just going to move a few things around. Okay. There's some demolition that's got to happen. There's some strongholds in there that's got to go out of here. What am I going to do with my time here? And the remodeling of our heart, when Jesus comes in and we allow him to come in, you see, because, um, He's a gentleman. He's not going to come in and just start this great big remodeling process without us letting him. You know, that, that's not who he is. He, he wants to be given, given the keys to my kingdom, which is my heart. You know, this is my kingdom. It's like, ooh, it's where I rule. Okay, so it's going to cost something. But wow, it's going to be amazing. And it's going to take longer than you think. And it's going to be messy and it's going to be dirty. And I've got drywall dust still on my floor, even though I've swept and I've mopped that drywall dust is, it never goes away. It does go away, but it takes work. But he also wants to, this is the cool thing that we have to look forward to when we're being worked on by God, you know, because he wants us, you know, we, we run to that and go, oh, I am transformed into the image of Christ. Like it's whoo, boom, there it is. It doesn't work that way. It is a remodel lifelong project. It is. And it's messy and it's uncomfortable. And at times you go, oh, okay, remodeling is good. I, I'm living in my space. And then you know what? He works on something else in us because we all have, you know, a file cabinet full of things that, get to be worked on, but then we get to live in the space, in the naturals. Like then I get to, whoo, the walls are going to be painted. And then I get to do what I want to do. And I'm moving artwork and I'm moving stuff around. And I'm like, oh, it's going to be awesome. And I have this picture in my head of what it's going to be after the whole remodeling process is over. Then I get to live in this space. So, you know, it's the same in, in the spiritual, you know, I want to be a wise woman who built her house and all wisdom comes from God and the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I mean, it's all throughout the Bible. He gives the wisdom, which means I have to be willing to let him come and remodel some of my thinking, a lot of my thinking remodel my heart and get rid of some of the stuff that's there so I can live in that space of being a wise woman who builds her house for him, who draws others to him, who celebrates him in my space. I hope that helps, but we are remodeling here and God is remodeling stuff here you know, and it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a messy thing. It's an uncomfortable thing. But he's the master builder. And he can build my house. He can build my heart. He can remodel me into Jesus Christ. Oh, and that's an awesome thing. So next time, I hope there's more work, more work done, because I would love to get this done and get rid of some of the boxes and things and put things back and it'll be awesome. Thanks for joining me on my 141 Live. I hope that I see you again. Hey, click the link and subscribe and then you'll get a notification of when I do this, because I think that there's more like me than not, that we want to be wise women who build our house. And we want that foolish one mm, to quit hanging around.
So there is a link in the description to jump on over to um, my 141 Life group on Facebook. And I'd love to see you there. Come join me.